Are you upset that I'm more famous than you? Okay, Grandma. Really? You had to go there? You had to go there. Well, guess what? News flash. I have hey, it's Kevin. Hope you're doing well. If you're not, then maybe this video will cheer you up, but don't get your hopes up, okay? It just... Just watch it if you want. If you want to hang out with me for a little bit, I'm just going to answer some questions that my grandma asked me, and you get to know me a little bit better, right? What's wrong with that? You know, you click the video, not me. So welcome, and I hope you stick around. Also, if you could hear crickets, it must be cricket season because they're just chirping nonstop and not the Australian sport cricket, like I'm talking about the animal. I go outside, I get chirped at. It's just something I've accepted, so I hope you come to acceptance as well. Getting on with today's agenda, I'm gonna answer questions that my grandma wrote down for me to answer. I just handed her my old marketing journal from college and told her to write down a few questions for me without any explanation. She just... My grandma just really does anything I tell her to do without questioning it at, these, at this point. At this point. <laughs> I have like an accent now, I don't know what's going on. First question, how are you? So, I'm doing okay. I wouldn't say I'm doing amazing. I feel like I'm just base level okay. Honestly, pretty confused. This is the first fall that I haven't had to go back to school in my entire life since I just graduated college. Like, I have no responsibility. I have not had responsibility really since December when I graduated and this fall, like I said, every fall since I was a little wee lad, I've been getting my backpack on and run into the school. So yeah, it's a weird feeling. I feel weird. I feel confused. I feel trapped. Oh, hey, Puffy. Can you see him? Oh, he's just out of the frame. Let me fix that. There he is. Yeah, the Puff. Puffy, you know what? You're being rude. Okay. Where's your favorite place you've ever been? I say this every time, but I think Switzerland, um, more specifically this little town in Switzerland called Wengen. It is just so stunning, and I went there by myself a couple years ago in the fall, and it was just, it felt like a dream. I actually look back on that, and I have to question if that was real life or if I just dreamt it. It was like one of those places where you just don't believe that you were there. I really want to go back, but as an American, my passport is useless right now, and I can't go anywhere. I'm banned. If you're American, we're, we're banned. Are you going to move? You trying to kick me out, Grandma? Is that what you want? No, I've actually talked to my grandma about this before. I really, really want to move, okay? I'm 23 years old. I've been living in the same place basically my entire life. I've gotten out a few times, but very temporarily. I've never actually had my own place. I feel old and stunted being in Connecticut, and as much as I love this place and my family, I think that it is time for my mental stability to just skedaddle for a little bit, especially during these weird times. I just don't want to be here. I drive past my high school to get Starbucks in the morning and I just like, I feel so washed up. I feel like I'm not progressing as a human being in my hometown right now and I just, I'm over it, okay? I can't do it anymore, so I'm looking into moving possibly out west? So, no, I don't really have a plan on moving right now, but before the end of the year, I think I am going to move. So I will keep you updated on that. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I know that a lot of my problems would be solved if I just had my own place and lived somewhere, possibly with palm trees? I don't know. So I'll let you know. And yeah, it's probably not the best time to move during a global pandemic. I, I see your point. I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting excited though because I think I am gonna just do it because as a young wee lad, I've always said I wanted to move out west or, you know, just where the palm trees are. And I think it's happening. I think I'm gonna do it. Are you going to dye your hair again? Please let me know. What do I do? Does it look... I don't know. I like it. I think I'm more fun with dyed hair. Blondes have more fun, right? But it's a lot of upkeep and I didn't know that my roots would grow so quick because my hair just grows really fast. I honestly just didn't know because I've never dyed my hair before. This is my third time dyeing it this summer. So, yeah, my hair is like basically dead. Do I dye it brown to go back to my normal hair so I don't have to worry about it anymore? Or do I cut off all the dyed part? But if I cut off all the dyed part, it's just going to be like a centimeter of hair. Please let me know, Grandma, and you watching this. What do I do? Do you like filming my TikToks? Yes, Grandma, of course I do. Um... I'll always be your TikTok manager. I actually really love managing my grandma and helping her like secure a brand deal. I've actually fully become like my grandma's actual manager and I just really love that and I honestly kind of see myself going into that field of managing because I think I'm like 
kind of good at it. What's the weather tomorrow? Very specific question, Grandma. It's so unrelatable. Come, I told you to make them a little relatable. Like, no one's gonna relate to this. Thanks, Grandma. So, the weather tomorrow is gonna be 78 degrees with a low of 55 degrees. Partly cloudy. Do you drink alcohol? Yes, I'm 23. Um, TMI, I used to have a fake ID when I was 18, so I've been drinking alcohol for a bit. I'm not condoning get a fake ID or underage drink, you just have to be careful, you know? If you're careful and drink in moderation, I think you're fine. Definitely, do okay, I need to preface, when I was 18 and got the fake ID, also I don't know why I'm talking about this, no one asked about the fake ID, I'm just, should I not put this in? I don't know, I'm, you're my friend, okay, I could tell you. So, I got a fake ID more so just to get into places because I was going to school in a city and there was nothing else to do besides to get into places and you needed just an ID to show at the door. I know it's illegal, okay? I wasn't like throwing back shots once I got in. I would just have like a soda, I'm not even kidding. I wasn't into drinking at all up until like a couple years ago when I actually turned 21. But yeah, even nowadays, I don't drink that much. I never drink at my house. I'm just not someone that would just pour a glass of wine and drink it. It's usually if I'm like at a social gathering or if I'm going to a bar or a club, but that's just not the case these days. You can't do that. So yeah, sorry grandma, now you know about my fake ID. I don't have it anymore and I actually never got in trouble for it. And everyone has one, okay? Like, I'm sorry. Have you ever smoked a cigarette? You're gonna disown me, grandma. And I know you always tell me never to smoke a cigarette. And I've only smoked a few cigarettes in my life and I regret it, okay? It tastes bad, smells bad, makes me feel sick. It's just, not worth it, okay? And I've only had them when I was drinking. Don't smoke cigarettes, kids. You're gonna get cancer and die. Just don't even try it. Just, I tried it for you to let you know that it's gross. So just, you're welcome. You don't have to try it anymore. You're welcome. Are you upset that I'm more famous than you? Okay, Grandma. Really? You had to go there? You had to go there. Well, guess what? Newsflash, I have more followers than you on Instagram, okay? You have 40-something, I have 90-something. Thousand. Um, yeah, you are beating me on TikTok. You have almost 500,000, okay? And I know that half the people that are subscribed on here are here for you, okay? <laughs> I recognize that. And, you know, I'm actually... This is like a joke, and I feel like people think I'm serious, but... Because people always ask me, like, Your grandma's more famous than you, she gets more views than you, blah, blah, blah. I really do not care. I wouldn't say I love being in front of the camera. I'm more so excited to produce the content and also help, like, manage her, like I said. That's, like, more fun to me. I'm happy for you. I'm not upset. Come on, Grandma. Come on. It's because of me, you know? Like, if it wasn't for me, you'd just be sitting in your house being an old grandma doing nothing. So, she knows that. I created you. That is actually the last question. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below if my grandma should do this same kind of style and I'll upload that next. Let me know. If you're going back to school or you're already back in school, um, have fun, study hard, stay safe, and wash your hands, you know? Wear a mask. It's not that hard. That's just a little PSA. And if you're not going back to school like me, then let's try to find hobbies. Like, if you have any hobbies to recommend me, let me know. I'll see you next time.